It's leg 5, day 7 of the Volvo Ocean Race 2011-12, and in one way or another, the extreme conditions found in the Southern Ocean are taking their toll on the whole fleet. The three leading boats have now rounded the central ice limit marker on their way to Cape Horn. But all three are reining back their speeds as the imperative to race is outweighed by the fight for survival. Sadly for Camper, the damage inflicted upon them by the ferocious wind and waves looks to have put an end to their chance of victory this leg, and they have been forced to detour towards Chile for repair work. Meanwhile, Team Telefonica, currently in third place, are also battling against the raging Southern Ocean. We just have to go a bit slower so that the boat doesn't get damaged. We had a problem in the bow that we don't want to escalate. It's a shame having to go slowly. We don't like it at all, especially when you're fighting. Everyone's security comes first, so as long as the boat goes well, everything is okay. The boat is going well now, but there is a danger that it could be damaged. So that's why we've decreased our speed. But for Abu Dhabi, currently lying some 850 nautical miles off the lead in fourth place, a podium finish is looking increasingly possible, as the leading boats continue to take a beating from unrelenting waters. Groupama and Puma, the only boats not to have sustained any significant damage thus far, are lying in first and second place respectively, and despite the harsh conditions, both crews are in high spirits. It is a fantastic place to be. I think you, you feel so close to the nature. Uh, sometimes you're feeling a little bit scared and sometimes you're just feeling happy. You see that you realize that the feelings are very close to each other. Uh, it's just a fantastic experience. I mean, there's anything, nothing like this. Join us again tomorrow to find out if the carnage continues on the Volvo Ocean Race 2011-12.